Europe last year on Asia Down Under, we took a ride on Kevin Abdurrahman's Ferrari, a flash car that he promised to give away to one of those who buys his book online. A promotional idea suggested by his younger brother, Rami. We launched it on the 10th of June, 2008, and it goes for 12 months to the 9th of June, 2009. So that's a set period, and anyone that picks a copy of the book from www.winnerferrari.com goes into an automatic draw. He claimed that the book is to help others learn the secrets of the rich, as he quotes himself as one of the most successful men in New Zealand, by being financially retired at the age of 25. But when we asked him how he went from flipping burgers at McDonald's to becoming rich and retired a few years later, he didn't have an answer. My aspect is education. It's, it's got nothing to do with me. It's what I'm sharing with people. They're taking what's, been, what's good for them. Then we found out he was listed as an Emerald Director for Usana, a multi-level marketing company whose distributors make commissions not only on their own sales, but also from the sales by other distributors they recruit. But you are involved with Usana? No, no, I've, I'm an educator in the industry. So you're not, you're not involved with them Why at all? Why are we asking that question? He didn't want to talk about the multi-level marketing company Usana. But a further check revealed that the car was under finance until 2012. So let's hear again what his promise was about. On the 26th of June, we will do a public draw, and then the name that's picked is the official winner. They drive away in the car, fair and square. But none of that is going to happen, because the Ferrari no longer belongs to Kevin. It was repossessed by the finance company and has been resold at a car auction. Since the story on Kevin and his car came out on the program, a lot has taken place. The promotional website has been shut down. His number has been disconnected. The Abdurrahman's house has been sold. Kevin seems to have a lot to answer for and many people to answer to. But a second look at the fine print on their defunct website says the contest promoter reserves the right to amend the terms and conditions of the raffle at any time without notice. So we asked a lawyer whether this disclaimer will hold in court. The Fair Trading Act says that if you uh, offer a prize as part of a sales promotion without intending to uh, give that prize, then effectively uh, that's a breach of the Act. Certainly other sections of the Act that deal with misleading conduct in general and uh, it can be misleading, for instance, to make misrepresentations about the nature of goods as part of a promotion. But only Commerce Commission New Zealand can conduct an investigation and make a judgment on whether or not the Abdurrahman brothers did breach the Fair Trading Act. If someone has breached the Act, then for an individual, they can be liable for fines up to $60,000 and for a company, up to $200,000. And the court also has the power to uh, order refunds to be made to consumers as well if, uh, if it finds that there has been uh, breaches of the Act. Anyone who has participated in this promotion or has concerns about dealing with the Abdurrahman brothers can contact Commerce Commission New Zealand for help. There is no cost for filing a complaint. Well, that's all we have for you this week on Asia Down Under. We leave you with our weekly diary of events. Namaste and see you next time.
This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.